Geelong and Hawthorne facing off in their first final since the Hawks' 2008 Premiership upset. Since then, the Cats have won their previous six, and last week's 96-point hammering of reigning Premier's Collingwood had the Hawks on alert. Alistair Clarkson recalled eight players rested against the Gold Coast last weekend, including Luke Hodge, Lance Franklin and Cyril Rioli, with the small forward opening up the scoring. Daniel Menzel replied for the Cats. Clarko gets the crumb, goes to Menzel, five last week, gets the first tonight. While a well-rested Buddy fired up early. And now Buddy is in a good spot for him. Impossible for most, perfect for him. Hodge took a specky. Kick inside, the forward 50, Hodge. He's got that crew cap now, he's aerodynamically sounder than he was a month ago. Menzel too was making his mark as he set up his second. The Cats though were trailing by 11 at quarter time. He's kicked it well, so Menzel's a match for Buddy. Like that on the CV. They wasted no time in the second term. Three unanswered goals and a cracking mark from James Podziadli had Geelong in front. Hawthorne under pressure and Podziadli. Ghosts past a couple of Hawthorne defenders. Menzel's promising night came to a cruel end. A season-ending ACL injury that had him stretch it off the field. Geelong, meanwhile, continued to thrive on the ground. Jimmy Bartell making it five straight. Bartell's a chance here. And almost. Couldn't quite. And then picks it up and kicks the goal. Always oh, a good player. That cut Geelong's lead to 12 points at half time. Rain and strong wind made conditions even more testing. But with the breeze favouring the Hawks, their skipper began asserting his authority. Back-to-back -back goals from Hodge putting Hawthorne back in front. He leads all players on the ground now. Game high, 15 possessions and his 15th, certainly one of his best. That quickly changed after a well-contested mark handed Podziadli his second. Travis Varko almost looked certain to extend that, but sometimes things just don't go to plan. He runs inside the 50. Should be a question of accuracy. Pops it forward and misses, does he? Oh, gee. It didn't matter. Geelong slammed in three in a row, two of them soccer style. Johnson will. Johnson! Around the corner, soccer's another one. Brad Ottens with their fourth goal in five minutes. Kicks Troy. He's got his second. And Hawthorne have got a headache. A 50-metre penalty to Franklin cut the margin to 24 at three-quarter time. Franklin's fourth revived some hopes of a late comeback. Oh, buddy! How about that? He's got four. But when Trent West headed north, the Cats were back in control. Oh, oh, oh. oh West! I said they were riding their luck and he rode the pack. But the bigger blow was the sight of Franklin landing awkwardly on his knee. With Buddy out of the game, the Cats found more ammunition. Stokes, he's a mighty fine player. As we see now, good kick for goal, speaking of him. Isaac Smith pegged one back, but it wasn't enough to help the Hawks snap their losing streak against Geelong. The Cats' 31-point victors in another impressive performance, which also broke an eight-game winning streak for Hawthorne. And while the winners will now rest, the losers will now play the winner of the St Kilda v Sydney clash. We just knew if we kept getting it in there and kept, kept getting the ball deep that put their, put their defence under pressure and it was going to work out. So yeah, it's great. Daniela Rintilli, Big Pond Sport.